Hi Year 2, welcome to your English lesson for today. It's Thursday the 11th of February 2021 and in today's lesson we are continuing to look at our inspirational text, Kamala and Maya's Big Idea, to help us to write some sentences. Okay, as you know you guys have been practicing some common exception words for your handwriting starters this week. If you are able to have the handwriting strip at the top of the page in front of you, that would be amazing. If you can't, that's OK, too. Just make sure that you use some lined paper. The word that I would like you to write three times is the word bath. OK, please make sure that your letters B and H have, um, well, they are ascenders. They need to touch the top red line. They are tall letters. The letter T is a teenager, so it must sit slightly below that red line. Not too much, but just slightly below like mine is on the screen. OK, please make sure you are sitting correctly for your handwriting and your tummies are close to your table, but not too close and that your bottoms to the backs of your chairs. In order to do good handwriting as well, it might be helpful to tilt your paper slightly and to make sure that all of your feet are safely on the floor. I've been writing sentences again and I think I need some help. Look at my sentence. Lexi and her friends righted a story about some little people. Boys and girls, I think I've made a few mistakes. I think there are some words that are spelled incorrectly. Look at this word, friends. Look at story. Look at little and look at people. Oh, I've not done a very good job at writing that sentence this morning. I've also not thought about the verb that I'm using. Because if I'm using the verb to write and it's in the past tense, it shouldn't be righted. It's one of those irregular ones that isn't just adding ed on the end. Could you pause the video and if you're in school, you could have a little discussion about what this sentence should be. And if you're at home, you could just talk about what the sentence could be or you could write it down on a little bit of paper. Lexi and her friends righted a story about some little people. Can you fix my spelling mistakes for me? And can you fix that verb? Pause the video now to complete that. Hopefully this is what you've said. Lexi and her friends wrote a story about some little people. Hopefully you were able to fix my spelling mistakes. Remember that that word friends is fry and ends. That's how I like to remember the spelling. It can be split into two parts, fry and end. You fry the end and there we go. Um, that word story does sound like it ends in E. What can you see? But it's the letter Y that's making that sound. Little, again, sounds like it has the all ending, but it, we know that that's L-E. And then that word people, again, I can split that into two parts as well. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. And if you're in 2B, we've, we've said that rhyme quite a few times. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E, and we remember it that way. OK, so um, that word to write, if it's in the past tense, it's wrote. It becomes wrote, not righted. Maybe you said that as well. Amazing job and thank you for helping me so much. I must have been so tired when I wrote this sentence. OK, now we know that we've been looking at Kamala and Maya's big idea. I thought it would be a good idea if I read the story again to you now, just to make sure that you've remembered it well. And also because I really want you to know this story um, quite well in your mind. You know what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said. That does sound nice, Mum agreed. How can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their ideas. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so, no. That was not the answer they wanted, but they weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. 
They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. They had ideas too. Let's have a teeter totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Camilla wrote a larger letter and they went to see the landlord again. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have the money for that. Do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted, but Camilla was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole 10 seconds. And finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. This wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbours' doors, but they got the same answers from everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that's a big job. I wish I could help. Which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr Green stopped to talk. I work construction and I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for, this, for a sandbox. Really? Camilla said. Yes! exclaimed Maya. OK, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now maybe was the sweetest word they'd ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend, maybe turned into yes. The kids all helped measure and Mr Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. And then came the actual sand. They were all thanking Mr Green when Miss Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tyre for a teeter totter. Another maybe? In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Camilla and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground. So they made another big poster, inviting the neighbours to a potluck party. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through and Mr Green bought the music. Camilla admired the new playground, but she noticed that there was still one thing missing. No one knew how to make a slide. But Miss Flores did know where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary and they are redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. That was a different kind of maybe. A how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn the maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. No one could do everything, but everyone could contribute something. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Camilla got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hand, girls. You did a good job. You all did a good job. Camilla and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Camilla and Maya! Hooray for the Purr sisters! What's next, Camilla? Camilla, looking up, said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. In today's lesson, we are going to be thinking about another type of subordinating conjunction. We looked at if the other day, and today we are looking at because. I've put this up, up on the screen to remind you of the spelling rule that we use when we're writing because. Big elephants can always understand small elephants, and we use each letter of that word because to help us remember that. Because is a conjunction, it's used to join two parts of a sentence. And we know it's a subordinating conjunction. Look at my example. He went to the shops. Well, why did he go to the shops? 
he went to the shops because he needed to buy some milk. Look at how my conjunction because explains the reason in the first part of the sentence. If I just said he needed to buy some milk, that wouldn't really be explaining. The first part of the sentence is my why. Let's look at another one. The cat ran up the tree. Why would a cat run up the tree? The cat ran up the tree because a dog was chasing it. The second part of my sentence is explaining the first. We ran inside. Why? Why would you run inside? Pause the video and think of a reason. Because it was raining. We ran inside because it was raining. It explains the first part. For our main activity, we are going to write some because sentences about this picture. We're going to use this picture to inspire us. OK, we're going to think about what's happening in the picture. We're going to think about why they are having that sale and we're going to write some sentences all about it. If you are able to print off the worksheet, then that would be really good because the picture is on the worksheet. Now, if you can't print it off, that's OK. I wouldn't be able to print it off if I was doing this activity, but I would have um, this page up on the screen whilst I'm writing so that I've got something to help me out. OK, I've decided to write some because sentences about this picture. So if you're unstuck or you're a little bit unsure, then what you guys could do is pause the video at this point when all of my sentences are on the screen and you could definitely start to magpie some. The first sentence that I've written is this one. Everyone helped because they all had something to contribute. So everyone helped because they all had something that they could offer at the um, the sidewalk sale. So that was my first sentence. We should accept everyone's differences because we are all special and unique. So Kamala and Maya didn't say to some of the children on the screen that they weren't allowed to join the sidewalk sale because they looked differently than them or they liked different things than them or they brought different items than them. They said that everyone was welcome. A community should be kind because we are all important. Their community are all being kind to each other and they're all helping, aren't they? So that was a sentence I come up with. The girls hosted a sale because they needed to raise money. They needed to buy the slide. So they decided to host a sale because they needed the money. And then finally, the girls wanted a playground because they needed somewhere to play. OK, so those were my because sentences that I've written about this picture. What you could do is in a minute, once I've finished explaining the job, you could rewind and have this up on your device whilst you're doing your writing, because that might just spark some ideas for you as well. I do just want to mention that when we're writing a because sentence, we can use it in the middle um, as a subordinating conjunction or we could use it at the start, just like we do with the word if. So what I could do is I could take this sentence down here, the last one, and I could start it with this part, okay? I could write, because they needed somewhere to play, comma, the girls wanted a playground. OK, so you can, in fact, start your sentence with because. And what you would do if you were doing that, um, I'd like to see some of us do this in our writing, at least one sentence that starts with because. If we start our sentence with because, we write the explanation first. So because they needed somewhere to play, the girls wanted a playground. OK, so that's just a little uh, tip there for you, a little example. Just to show you what I meant from the last page, this was my sentence. The girls wanted a playground because they needed somewhere to play. Here's what it looks like with because at the beginning. Because they needed somewhere to play, the girls wanted a playground.
OK, I would like to see everyone write at least one sentence where because is at the beginning. You might challenge yourself and write a few more, but I would like everyone to write me one. Here is your work. So you've got your worksheet. OK, and what I would like you to do is on the lines underneath the picture, if you're using the sheet, if you're just using some paper, amazing. I have give you some sentence starters because sometimes children might say to me, oh, Miss Buckley, I don't know how to start my sentence. So I've given you some sentence starters today to inspire and help your writing. And what I would like you to do, there are one, two, three, four, five sentence starters on the board and a special sixth one at the bottom. OK, I'd like you to finish the sentences for me. So on your worksheet or on some lined paper, finish those sentences. The girls are good friends because they are sisters. A playground would be good because they would all have something to do. The landlord said no because he thought it was too expensive and so on. OK, so you might want to pause the video and have this up on the screen whilst you're writing. Or you might want to rewind a little bit and look at my examples as full sentences that I had given a moment ago. OK, I can't wait to see what sentences you write, boys and girls. And it's so important that we keep focusing on those conjunctions that we learn in year two. Enjoy and I look forward to reading your super sentences.